Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video is again regarding the Porsche 987 and many of you BMW guys, if you're interested or looking to get a Porsche, this will be for you guys as well. So this is gonna be about a mod I've actually fitted to my Porsche Boxster and you can also fit this to your Cayman, the 987s, many of you guys will know it as soon as you see it. Readily available just in different sizes and different cars depending on what car you've actually got. Now a lot of people have their different speculations based on this product. Many people think it's not worth it, many people think it is worth it. It's a very, very mixed opinions everywhere you ask, look, you know, it's very mixed opinions. So hey, now I'm part of the Porsche Club. Everyone was asking me to be the guinea pig for a lot of people with the Boxsters and the Caymans, asking me if I'd be the guinea pig to do it all because obviously, you know, they saw it as I have the money to throw it, which they didn't, because it is a lot of money. We're talking about a thousand pound here just for these upgrades that I've actually done, which I'll be showing you in a minute. And this actually changes the way the car performs and also alters the, you know, everything, the amount of air that's going in, you know, the throttle input, everything you want, you know, on a sports car. And obviously I've actually upgraded that. And like I said, it was a thousand pound for it all, which isn't cheap. And you know, for a lot of people that's like, someone's nearly whole month wage is just gone. So a lot of people didn't want to be the guinea pig unless they believed it actually worked. So I'll be showing you what I've actually done to this Porsche box. So many of you will know you can also do this to your Caymans. Okay guys, so as you can see there, I have the IPD plenum, the new throttle body, and the IPD cold air intake. I've also got a BNC air filter in there. This is the engine side. You can see there all the vacuum pipes for the valve exhaust system. And this product right here, there's a lot of mixed opinions on whether it does increase the power or it doesn't, and whether it causes an engine management light. Now, the engine management light is all crap because where this comes from is people not using a high flow cat back exhaust, which I've already got. And I've already done the exhaust, which I've done that before I fitted this. A lot of people seem to think they can fit this IPD plenum, the throttle body, and the boot before they even do a cat back exhaust and that's just simply not the case. Now I get why people do that, it's because they're feeling like they have to spend nearly 2,000 pounds just to be able to get extra power. But you're not gonna be able to get more air in unless you can get more air out. And the old exhaust system, which is from Pulse from factory, has two cats in it which become clogged, very restricted over the time and they restrict the amount of airflow. And that's why everyone advise you to upgrade to a cat back exhaust system, which I've got. My one is the Top Gear valved exhaust system, which I've got there. And you can see here, I've got all the IPD plenum, the new 74 millimeter throttle body, and the cold air intake. Now, this has literally transformed my car completely. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, that's crap. It really, really is not. The throttle pedal is so much more responsive and it literally revs out as soon as you literally even just touch the throttle pedal. The revs come up so much quicker. I don't know if it's because it's a new throttle body or the, you know it's reset all the adaptions, but it's just constantly been like that. It's not been a one-off thing when I've just drove it once. It's been absolutely incredible and insane. My friend has come with me in it as well. And you know, he's even noticed the power difference this thing has actually made. I'm really, really impressed. And if I didn't believe this actually worked or wasn't worth the money, I would have returned it. But it's been on the car now for two weeks. It took me literally 10 minutes to fit. And that was it. I took the old intake off, put the new intake plenum on, blanked off the CCV. As you can see, that it comes with a blanking plug. I had to reuse the old throttle body bolts because they didn't come with it. And the OPC ended up sending them to me in the end because I told them it didn't come with it, but I just cut them down to the correct size and use the old throttle body bolts. The air pipe was probably the hardest part to get on because it's, as you many of you guys know, silicone, it's very hard to fit down there, but it went on the end. Do make sure to bend this clip in here so it don't cut into the silicone pipe because if you leave that flat, it can end up cutting in to your silicone pipe. So make sure to bend that clip up, but it's absolutely been brilliant and I really can't fault it at all and I do not regret buying it and do not regret putting it on my car. If you are gonna to upgrade to this, guys, you have to, have to upgrade your exhaust as well. You cannot expect just to put this on and you're gonna get the power. There's just no way possible or when anyone will tell you that. I upgraded the exhaust and then I put this on and now I'm gonna go for, um, it's probably a stage two now I've got this all on, which this car should make roughly around 300 and, 
probably 55 bhp once i've got a tune in it as well so it's gonna be about 350 bhp in total um, i don't know how much torque i will be putting this on a rolling road though and that's something i do want to see the power before and after so you guys get to see it as well i do not want to just go and get a remap done outside the house or anything like that. I want this on a rolling road to see the BHP figures before and after. So also I know what this car is making truthfully. So as you can see there guys, that's the IPD plenum, IPD cold air intake and a new throttle body. Okay guys, so as you've seen there, you now see my IPD plenum, the throttle body upgrade in there, also the silicone hose as well. That actually goes to the air box to the throttle body. Now, as I said, I've also got a BNC air filter in there, so I didn't actually need the Design Tech one that many OPCs actually send with this whole kit because I already had a performance air filter in there. Now, I do want to say, if you are thinking of doing this upgrade, please, please, please do not take this to a garage to have it fitted. They will rip you off. You'll be paying for the part and plus their labor, which is going to come in expensive at like 1,500 pound. If you do not know what you're doing, I have been doing a lot of the Porsche guys cars especially you know all around near me and if you don't know what you're doing and you're not sure bring it to me or message me and i will happily install this for you and the same for an exhaust do not pay garages to do these simple jobs for you garages you know will burn a hole in your wallet especially when they see you come with a Porsche. do bear that in mind you know i know a lot of you don't have the space to actually do it at home you know don't have the mechanical skills or the tools but do not be paying garages to do all these jobs on your car. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of idiots who go to garages for simple little things like this, changing oxygen sensors, upgrading their exhaust, installing a plenum. It's absolutely pointless and ridiculous. It's stuff you can do yourself at home on your Porsche. Believe me on that, everything on this car I have done myself, whether it be coolant lines, all the way going crossover to the back, to you know all the coffin arms, and they were all rusted, they were all seized, but I just used my knowledge and my skill of dealing with cars over all my years to be able to get them removed because I've got every single tool in this workshop. So nothing can stop me getting whatever I want off these cars, whether it be rust, corrosion, you know, grease. I will get it off no matter what on these cars. And I did exactly that on this 987. So please, 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 guys, when you guys are thinking it's expensive, it's because you guys are all trying to go to a garage to have it fitted by them. Do not go to them, fit this yourself. If you're not sure how to fill it, ask me and I will help you. And the same for the exhaust. Do not pay a garage. There's easy ways of getting them studs out. Even if yours are seized in there, I will tell you the trick to getting them out. You know, many people seem to think they know and they've got this trick and that trick, but different tricks work for different cars, depending on how seriously corroded they are. And I know a very, very special technique that you don't even, it doesn't just work on a few cars, it will work on every single car. I managed to get my rusted corroded studs out in no time on the exhaust because you guys need to upgrade the exhaust before you put this plenum on. It will not work and you will not feel the power gains unless you upgrade the exhaust as well. So thank you very much for watching guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.